In this unit conversion, we have to make a quilt and we start out with square inches as our units, 476 square inches. And we have to turn it into square yards. So we have two different types of fabric uh, and then the sum of them added together will be right here. So let's just do the uh, orange fabric. So we have 476, these are square inches, so you could write it as inches squared or you could write it as inches times inches, which would be square inches. And we have to turn inches into yards, and so you probably know that 36 inches equals one yard, which is three feet, 12 inches in a foot, so three times 12 is, gets you that 36 inches in one yard. Now what we need to do is square both sides. So I'm gonna wrap this up. We're squaring both sides. So on the left side, you have 36 squared inches squared equals one squared yard squared. Now, of course, one squared is one, so it's just one yard squared. On the left, 36 squared, we could get the calculator out. In fact, I need to get the calculator out. So we're going to do 36 times 36 and see what that is. I would not have guessed that. One, two, nine, six. Again, that's 36 squared. And the inches squared just comes down like that. So our units are now squared inches and square yards. Uh, we want to go from inches to yards. So I'm going to divide both sides by this right here, or multiply by the reciprocal. And so we get one on the left, because I divided exactly by this. So it cancels out. And on the right, we have one I'll just write yd for yard, one yard squared over one, two, nine, six inches squared. And this is our unit conversion. And we're going to go ahead and convert our 476 inches squared. We're going to multiply it by, now we're multiplying it by one, so it's not going to change it, but the version of one we're gonna use is one square yard over 1296 squared inches. So why are we doing this? Because our inches squared, inches squared cancels out. Uh, 476 times one, the one doesn't matter. So you multiply by one, it's gonna be the same thing. So it's just 476 divided by 1296. And what is left, we just have the yard squared. Now, web work will probably take this answer, but what we're gonna do is just take 476 and divide it by 1296. It's clearly less than one. And we get point three six seven something something. Uh, nearest quarter yard. Okay, so we better go ahead and round this. So we're gonna round that to quarter yard. So it would be either 0 0.25 or uh, 0 0.5. What's it closer to? Uh, I think that's right in between. Oh no. It is closer to 0.25. All right, and now we'll do the, right there. oh, no. There's quarter yard. Oh, uh, that's a reading problem. Okay, so rounding answers up to the nearest quarter yard. So that would be rounding down. So we're definitely just gonna go to uh, 0.5. Yes, we should read questions. That's very important. Obviously, if you're gonna make something, you can't buy less, so you have to round up, not down, and just make something smaller. Okay, gray fabric, you're gonna do the same thing. Make sure you round up. 
and then the sum is going to be the sum of the rounded versions right down there.